Well, good morning, folks. I can't believe it, but this is early August and this is our first proper bike trip of 2020. And where are we going on our trip? The beautiful Yorkshire Dales. So why don't you come along with for the ride? But first of all, we're going to stop at the Peak District tonight. And then head up for a week riding around the Dales. So we'll see you later on the road. The A6003 is a great biking road and takes you through some really lovely villages like Rockingham, Uppingham and Oakham. Rockingham is also famous for having a 900 year old castle built on the instructions of William the Conqueror and it's about four minutes from the village itself. It's also home to Rockingham Motor Speedway it used to claim to be the Europe's fastest racing circuit and was the first banked oval constructed in Britain since the closure of Brooklands in 1939. After about an hour on the road, it was time to pull off and find somewhere to get a coffee. So we ended up in the little village of Wissendine, hoping there was somewhere to get a decent coffee, maybe a snack. Well, at least the food was okay. So that's a problem when you're a coffee snob. Back on the road after our snag and the route took us through the metropolis of Melton Mowbray. Famous of course for its pork pies. I didn't realise it's also one of the six licensed makers of Stilton cheese. Apparently it's been promoted as Britain's rural capital of food. So there you have it. And so we finally arrive at our first stopover on our trip at the Allison House Hotel in Comfort 
me and Matt Locke. Check it out. Hi. Yes, please. This is the Allison House. Hotel, kind of. Well, it says four star, but it's a four star AA rosette. Uh, whether it lifts up to its four star billing, we'll have to check later on. But it's all geared up for coronavirus avoidance. Anyway, we're just going to stroll around and have a look at the grounds. But it could do with being a bit better. But it's just not raining. Thanks for the words. Yeah, that's what's lovely. I must find the history of the house. It's, it's obviously an old manor house of some sort. Operating, which is good. So you go up one staircase, down another. So let's have a look at the lights of room six in the Allison House Hotel. Operating a one way system. Past the big ship. Look at that. When I was a kid, I'd love one of them. Yeah. As you can see, it's a bit old. But it's a big, bright, huge bed. Bright room, a bit old, a bit dilapidated, a bit tired, but nevertheless functional. Got a TV, great view of the garden we just walked walked through, and bathroom again not very salubrious but functional, which is fine, isn't it? Gardens yeah. are beautiful. Yes, and I'm sure tomorrow the weather's going to be great. And uh, what do we have in here? Lamb. Lamb with mint sauce, chips, veg. When you're on the road and you're trying to find decent places to stay overnight, we always think it's a good idea to, wherever possible, to get some feedback. So, how would we rate the Allison House Hotel as a worthwhile stopover if you're going to Matlock? So that was the Allison House Hotel near Matlock. But what do we think of the hotel? What are your thoughts? Well, I think the first thing to note, it feels a bit strange. So it, it kind of feels like going back in time um, in terms of service. So, you know, decades ago when you had to go and sit in your own little seat and somebody brought you yeah. a pre-ordered menu, which of course has to happen because of COVID. Yeah. But it just feels like a real retrograde step. And I know it's necessary, but it, it feels a bit weird. In terms of the hotel, some really good bits. Um, the shower last night was absolutely phenomenal. The reason we had the shower wasn't. Um, the bath yeah. was a bit on the hairy side, yeah. so it kind of put us off, which wouldn't normally, but, but in light but of COVID it did. It's a good shower and it's a great room, uh, a view from the room. But um, And the gardens were beautiful. 
What um, about the bed? The bed, it, what okay initially looked like a, a big comfortable bed turned out to be two um, singles pushed together with a rather significant gap in the middle. So that was a bit uncomfortable and the mattress wasn't too great. And the pillows were really lumpy. Um, the be- I mean, it's got a real quaint feel to it, this old place, but of course the negatives to do with that are everything from the sash windows to the, the internal poor quality doors, everything rattles. So if you're a light sleeper like I am, Think. Needless to say, your sleep wasn't great this night. Well, sleep tonight. hopefully tonight will be better. Anyway, we'll catch you back on the road. The next morning, we set off heading north through the Peak District to our next stop, which was the beautiful little village of Haworth in Yorkshire, home of the Bronte sisters. Matlock Bath is very popular with bikers. Any Sunday afternoon in the summer you can get up to 3,000 visiting the main high street. It's a very popular and busy place throughout the year anyway, but in summer when it's exacerbated by heavy traffic and roadworks it can be a bit of a pain to get through. The route took us right past the entrance to Chatsworth House, a fantastic palatial abode owned by the Duke of Devonshire. Ordinarily we would have stopped, pulled in and maybe had a walk around the grounds, but unfortunately in the days of Covid-19 everything now is to be booked online and we didn't do that ahead of time. But next time it's definitely worth a stopover.
While we were on the road, I wanted to swing past the Lady Bower Reservoir to see the famous dam that the dam busters used to practice their runs on in 1943. Unfortunately, I must have missed the turn up because I couldn't find a proper spot to stop and take a picture. I knew we were at the reservoir, but I couldn't find exactly where the, the actual dam was. So after wandering around a bit, we decided we'd just take a chance, drive over the bridge, stop very quickly and try and grab a quick shot of it. I remember watching Bandit Man UK, aka Richard, when he visited the reservoir not that long ago, and I should have paid more attention to where he stopped. Anyway, next time, you live and learn, don't you? We were soon going to be leaving the Peak District and heading north through the industrial towns of Huddersfield and Halifax on our way to Haworth. So we decided we'd have a last quick stop and try and grab a coffee en route. Stop for a quick coffee. Quarter past 12 and we're at the Strines Inn. And hopefully we can get a coffee or a tea here on the way to Haworth in West Yorkshire. Quick pit stop folks on the way to Haworth in Yorkshire for our, the start of the proper start of our Dales trip really. We had a pleasant night last night in Matlock and we've just written for about an hour past beautiful Chatsworth House and then the Lady Bower Reservoir which is of course famous for the Dambusters practice raid. And here we are just stopping for a quick coffee. I don't know where we are, but on some tiny little road in the Derbyshire Dales.
Indonesia. When you ride into the old historic part of Haworth, you're met with suitably cobbled streets, almost like riding into a film set. As with many of these old historic villages, parking is at a premium. So we took advice from a local and found that the parking space, as little as it was, was at the back of the pub. Hi. Hello, we just come to check in. Yeah, I've just been watching. Yeah. I tell you what, it's, these tight roads are not built for motorbikes, you know. They're too steep. They are steep. Rather be on a bike though than walk. After dropping off our gear and a quick change, we decided to go out and explore the delights of this lovely little village. So we've just arrived in Haworth, um, coming to the quaint old town famous for the Bronte sisters and the Bronte Museum. The only trouble is everywhere you go, you go to the downhill, which means you've got to keep up at the road. Central Park, excellent. I mean, we've got the beautiful weather, haven't we? <laughs> Welcome to sunny Haworth in Yorkshire. It's had on the damp side. And it's now started to rain. Lovely. I'll tell you what, the Bronte sisters must have been bloody fit. Flogging up and down these cobbled thrones with the big fancy dresses on. What do you reckon? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm I reckon I'm unfit, that's what I reckon. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm really ready for a lovely foaming pint of Yorkshire ale. Well, that was our wonder folks around house before it started raining. So let's just go in and show you our accommodation for this evening in the old white line 18th century inn. Okay, let's go check it out. Go back. I suppose you have a menu here for. Menu? Yes, for tonight so we can cast a look over it. <laughs> I'm hungry and thirsty. Oh, yeah. See, oh, we've got system here. One way system. To the bar. We've got a table with this thing. Oh, no, thanks. Thank you very much. So, thank you. Which one would you recommend? Oh, oh. This one at the moment. 
at the but, moment. But they might be changing very shortly. Oh, yes. How short are we saying? I have no idea. Depends, <laughs> how, it depends how much we sell. <laughs> this is changing with goose eye shortly, and this is changing with the white witch. Oh, I've heard about the white witch. Yeah, white witch, which is from Lancashire. You, you, goose eye is you shouldn't already. be serving Lancashire beer. I'm, I'm from Lancashire. Hey. I'm a red rose. It's I shouldn't right. even be here. It's all right. We've got a mission and a passport. <laughs> Right, we'll come down later on and sample the beer. We're going against the, the floor here. Yeah. Well, as you can see, Bijou, excuse the mess, um, but it's clean and that's the most important thing. It is. Functional. Sue likes a clean bathroom, so that's the most important thing. There you are, tiny little bath there. Good as gold. We'll jump in there shortly. Um, a bit squashed trying to charge all our batteries and GoPros and helmets up. But, but look, another great view. Now that, that is what I've been waiting for all day long. And that's what Sue's been waiting for, because it's not it's not a normal tipple, it's cider because... Oh, guzzle it, I'm so thirsty. Thirsty. It's been a hard, sweaty day on the bike. Cheers, everybody. Garlic and chili king corn. Yeah. Deep fried bream. Happy. <laughs> what is it? Steak? It's their um, homemade steak pie. Homemade steak pie and with chips and peas. Of course, I'm having mushy peas being a northern. Well, we just finished our meal at the uh, old. Where, where, where are we staying? The old White Lion. The old White Lion, and it was fantastic. It was great, fantastic food, great beer, great Malbec. <laughs> Highly recommended, actually. I'm feeling a little bit mellow now. Oh. Oh, no. And we were due to go here, but it should. That's where we're supposed to be going. Where's steam brewing coming? It should. I'm cold. So instead, it was back to the pub for a nightcap and an early night. The only way to have a bacon body. Smother it in tomato ketchup. <laughs> the old white line was in a great location. The room was actually quite small and cluttered with all our biking stuff, but I guess that was all to be expected given that it's an 18th century inn. Um, it was clean and bright and it had a great bathroom. And even more importantly, the food and beer were really great. And the staff were really friendly and helpful. All in all, highly recommended. <laughs> Where the Bronte sisters used to come for a beer look, when they were writing Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights. Bronte Parsonage Museum, where, uh, where Emily, Charlotte, and Anne lived for 40 years and wrote some of the most enduring and memorable, amazing English novels in this very building which is sadly closed at the moment. But there we are. That's where the Brontes lived and worked. <laughs>